wait for Republicans to sit at the table and talk, and if they don't do it, what's going to happen? I don't think it would be wise for us to set an arbitrary deadline. Uh, we uh, are patient. The Hispanics in Nevada have been very, very patient and around the country. So we don't want to set an arbitrary deadline. We just think that it's time for each stop that Nonsense. And what I mean by nonsense is this. How can you reasonably answer people around the country who are saying, fix the system, and then they don't want to fix the system? So we're saying to our Republican colleagues, and I think you know the tone here today, we are inviting them to work with us. It's simply an invitation. It's one that we think is very timely. We think they should step over and help us. Mr. Leader, the President uh, last night said that he seemed to pour cold water on this. He said there may not be an appetite in Congress for this, and he said he doesn't want to push immigration just for the sake of politics. Well, I um, have not spoken to the President about this recently, but I do know that um, he's given us a heavy load here for one of the assignments he's given us, work on Wall Street reform. Health care, we've done national service legislation, and we've done, I mean, I can give you the whole list of stuff, so we've got a lot to do. But um, I say to the President and all the people around us, this is an issue that he, he, is, he will join us. I know this is an issue he thinks is very important, and uh, I don't know in what context the statement was last night, but uh, we can do a lot of things here. We can do more than one thing. in context and they're saying that he is committed to having a bipartisan solution this very year. So my question to you is, if, it, if your proposal, your framework incorporates Republican ideas, why not move forward with an, with an actual bill and put it in the calendar? My uh, conversation with the President has been similar to what you have just stated. Every time I've ever talked with him or people closely associated with him in the White House, he, he recognizes this issue. We talked about the campaign, and uh, I know that he will work with us on this issue. And uh, as I said, we're reaching out to our Republican friends. This is an issue that they need to help us with because, you know, we can, we can, we're willing to compromise. But you can't compromise with yourself. You have to compromise with. Sir, my friend, uh, do you support uh, San Francisco's boycott of Arizona?
logical use immigration excuse to not help with energy. Senator Reid, I, I just want to clarify, are you committed to putting this bill on the floor this year and forcing a cloture vote if you uh, otherwise don't have Republican support? We are looking for Republican support. I for Republican support. All of you know the rules right here. We've, they've been pushed into my mind. You have to be able to count to 60 of them. And so talk about getting a bill on the floor, unless we get Republican help, we're not going to have a bill on the floor. So you said, Senator Schumer, you don't push my... Senator Schumer, thank goodness. Senator Schumer, you've been actually talking to Republicans quite a handful of them. So what's their reaction? Well, when we, you know, for instance, today I was with Judd Gregg. He was very interested in the uh, parts of the bill about the labor force. And the Republicans I've talked to this week, when I've laid out what happened, they said, send me some detail. Now we have detail. We have a framework. And what we tried to do in this proposal is be true to our democratic principles. Not everyone would agree with each specific provision in the bill. But at the same time, show our Republican colleagues we're willing to negotiate because as I believe it was Senator Feinstein said, Senator Menendez said, lots that's in this bill came from Republican ideas. So this is a proposal, I think, that says on its face, we welcome you to negotiate and talk with us to get a comprehensive bill. And uh, the conversations I had today, people were listening. <coughs> Thanks, everybody.